Hello YouTube, it is The Doctor and today is a different kind of video on my channel. We're doing a beginner's tutorial or you know just a kind of easier way to learn how to play Gary's Mod. Now this is a PC game that's on Steam and it's very old actually and this is the 2016 build of the game and um, yeah so this is it. This is just my video just showing kind of like the basic logistics of the game, how to kind of play it and kind of what the kind of um, aim is within the game but there's no real way to play it there's no correct way it's completely your choice so this is just a beginner's guide as soon as you bought the game kind of how to play it because it can be quite um, daunting and it can be quite you know um, hard to get your head around some of the controls but I'm gonna try and make it a little bit easier for you because if you want to be going into maybe some animation work maybe some machinima it uh, might help you uh, kind of get your way around it so one year one year I first presented with the uh, guys on screens. They won't be like the Star Wars esque kind of screens. They'll be sh they should be like showing like pictures of people and different kind of Gary's mod stuff. This is just a kind of add-on that I put on here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna just um, launch into a game like normal and just kind of teach you what you should be seeing in your first um, load up your own guys mod before you get add-ons and all the other crap. So um, on your sandbox, um, when you first load up guys, when you can just click on this button here, make sure it's on sandbox because we're just going to go over my, all of the basic controls and stuff in the sandbox first and um, then we'll move on from there. So if we click on start new game, um, let it load for a second and um, you won't have all of these missions that I have on here, these are all different kind of maps and stuff that are within the game of my game because I've all installed these, I use these for some of the animation work and stuff. So. You could most likely presented with uh, GM Construct, GM Flatgrass, and maybe some Half-Life maps. But um, yeah, these are the basic sandbox maps where you need to. You can just build stuff, and pretty much that's it. So what you want to do is you want to click on GM Construct. We're just going to go single player, and we're just going to click Start Game and um, wait for your game to load. Upon spawning into your Gary's Mod game, you'll find out that you're spawned with this tool gun um, and the basic. Half-Life 2 weapons kit which kind of covers all the way from the crowbar till the uh, RPG and the tool gun. So we're just basically going to cover these basic weapons and then maybe spawning in a few things and trying to create some other things and uh, the controls, basic controls as well. So in uh, the way that um, I've got the GMAD legs if you're kind of wondering why your legs aren't there. So um, to go forward uh, kind of and move around navigate it follows the basic WASDA um, principles so it's W forward. A left, B right, S backward, and then your maps is your um, roaming, and you can look right and left. And then if you, so if you scroll with your finger on your mouse, it just makes you go for the weapon wheel, or you can just press 1, 2, 3, or 4, 5, or 6 as many times to get through your, your guns. So these pretty much do what they say on the tin. Pistol, pistol, magnum, magnum. But if you're hearing my um, game come through, my uh, in the game kind of echoing through the video a bit. Sorry, I have no headphones, so my mic is uh, pretty picking up everything. It's kind of rigged to pick it all up, so sorry about that. Apologies for that. So uh, I'm going to click Q to get this menu up. Now this is your basic Gary's Mod menu, which is your spawn menu, which is going to make you be able to spawn your weapons in, your NPCs in, your uh, entities, and the S cars that's an add-on, your vehicles, and then that's probably going to be, that's all going to be visible from yours. And um, yeah, so shift is run, control is crouch, and then uh, to go into um, god mode, which kind of makes you, what's well, basically called no clip, so you just fly around, and it makes you no collide with anything, and then it's an easy way to get around, so if I press V, I'll end up flying in the air, like this, if it's laggy a bit, sorry, apologies for that, um, and um, you'll fly in the air like this, and you'll fly through buildings and stuff, so it's, it's pretty much, if you're building something or you're making a scene for machinima or something like that, it just helps you um, get to places quicker. So if you press the shift button while you're doing this, you'll pretty much just zoom around the map like that. So that's how that works. That's kind of like the no clippy thing, and that's a big thing that you've got to learn within Gary's Mod is how to fly around and get around quickly if you're in a game with your mates or something like that. So yeah, so when you get out of the uh, flying, you click the V again. And you'll get in there. Just make sure that if you are flying and you do end up like going into the ground, and you press V again, you will be stuck in the ground. So what you'll need to do is you need to press V and get out. It's the same with goes for walls. If you're halfway through a wall and you press V and you go back into normal walk mode, you'll be stuck in there. So you need to make sure that your full body is out there and out of it. 
so um, yeah that's kind of uh, helpful so a good um, tip I'd kind of give out before you um, go into m going into like learning guys mod is to go on the workshop and to get the Gary's mod um, simple third person add-on now you can type in simple third person or third person into the workshop and the way you can get to the workshop is by clicking um, uh, escape add-ons and then you can click on workshop when it loads up so it's open workshop and then you just pretty much search it in and if it doesn't come up you can type you can click on the top rated all time bar or the most popular bar and it most likely should come up so if you press um, if you get that and press C um, and you reload your game you'll get a third person I'm playing as a Vanos right now so guys and um, yeah, you'll get a third person meter. A lot of people were constantly asking for Gary's mod um, for like nearly, I don't know, it's been like 10 years and this has been out, I'm not sure. They've just been asking for ages about um, making a third person add-on and someone finally did it. So you can go into third person now and with this add-on it's just a lot easier if you want to like achieve some, some things and certain bits and pieces that you might need it for. So um, if you're wondering how you can change skins, because you're probably upon a spawn, you'll probably have the Kleiner spin from skin from Half-Life 2, or the Breen skin. I'm not sure. These are all skins that I've uh, downloaded via the workshop. These are just um, add-ons I've just um, downloaded from. So yeah, I'll show you how to get these soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can get a Deadpool one. Deadpool space. Um, so look at this Deadpool. I don't really like this kind of thing going on here. It's this one. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, body boost is now. Oh, nice. That's an X-Men one. Oh, I like this Death Pills one better. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, is this the Katana Hulkster? Yeah, I'll keep it. Alright, so, um, yeah. So now I've selected a skin and I've got it clicked. To change that skin, because if you're wondering why am I not you know why am I not that skin now what you, all you need to do is die pretty much and instead of just like quickly killing yourself with an RPG to the floor an easy way to go about this is to bring up the console menu if you don't really know how to bring up the console menu you can go into option I go into options sorry about that lag um, and you, then you can click on advanced I think it's advanced and enable a developer console and then to get that um, click on enable um, develop console and not even get fast weapon switch yeah I'll do that and then um, you think it's on your keyboard slowly scroll down and you just have to allocate weapons console whatever it is well no, no just just console yeah toggle console click on it and then allocate a button so when you um, get that you basically click your tongue console button and you just type in kill and kill will basically just kill you really <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that guys, uh, that's uh, an add-on that I've added onto my game. Okay, so yeah, now I'm Deadpool, so this is um, a skin that I've changed to. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a weapon shoot. Jesus Christ, I don't think I'm like that. Um, let me go back to my third one. Jesus, that is fast, I don't like that. I like it when you can see what you're getting, I think it's a... Um, So yeah, that's the basics of uh, getting around, changing stuff, getting your console up, changing skins. And I'm now going to show you how you get weapons and things like that into the game. So when when you have your guys, I just ignore most of these um, add-ons that I've got at the moment because um, we'll be covering some of them in different videos, doing reviews of some add-ons add packs, stuff like that. So when you get into the game, you'll have most likely you'll have Half-Life 2, which will be the Half-Life 2 weapons, other. Which will only, it won't have Spartan laser, it won't have this, we won't have this, and yeah, I think it'll have that. And I think that's all it'll have actually, and yeah, and then it will have animals in the NPC folder, it will have combine, and it will have hostile, it'll have, no, it won't it'll have humans in resistance, and it'll also have zombies and enemy aliens as well. So yeah. I want to show you how you just get these weapons. So if you, you know, I mean they're already with you at the start, but if let's say if these weapons don't appear for you, the way you can get this is by clicking tool gun, fizz gun, shit, not do weapons. 
um, get you know, the camera, not these, um, this, and this, this, all these, these are just your basic weapons on spawn and how you can use them. So left click to shoot and pretty much they can't really aim with the uh, half five two weapons, the only one you can aim with is the crossbow. However, it is extremely accurate. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the basics of getting your weapon um, and shooting, sprinting, crouching, skin changing. I'm now going to show you how you put NPCs into the game and how you can create your own little levels and stuff like that. So if I click on NPC and I, I'll use the zombies as a, a little guide at the start because they're probably the first NPCs that people are going to spawn because you'll see a zombie and be like, oh shit, yeah. So if I click on zombie, it's going to spawn the zombie wherever I'm looking. So if I'm looking all the way over there and I click a zombie, the zombie's going to spawn over there and we might not want that if you want to spawn loads of them because if I spam this, I've got zombies there, uh, over there, just, you know, in the way and they're just, you know, they're piling on each other and I want to put them where I want to put them initially. I don't want them to just go randomly where I'm looking. Also, before I go into how to spawn with a tool gun, if you do spawn anything into the game, so it's anything like a car, or a person, a weapon, or even a, uh, an entity as prop, all you've got to do to get rid of that is press Z. However, if you want to spawn a zombie and then later spawn these two, and I only want to get rid of the zombie, you're going to have to go through all of that Z to get rid of that zombie. However, there's a other way to go about it. If you don't want to delete all this stuff that you may have spawned, you can just go into the tool menu here, scroll down to remover, point the gun at the zombie, and bang, he's gone. I think he's gone. Yeah, his sound was a little bug then. And these are still here. Go through the Z menu, nothing's there. Okay, so that's basically how to spawn stuff in and how to remove it. So if I um, now I'll show you how to spawn it in with a tool gun, which is going to be more precise, accurate, and you can get a better position of it, is you right click and you click spawn with tool gun. Now this is the way I spawn pretty much everything to the game, because it just gives me the right location where to spawn things in. like that. So if you want to make yourself as little zombie survival mission and you're all spawning it and, doing it, and then you want the zombies to stop and, or you want to get ready before they come for you. Um, the game is built up so you can stop the NPCs from moving before you want kind of like your mission kind of thing to start. So if I click on um, disable thinking, that's going to make all NPCs, either the good, hostile or the friendly, to stop doing whatever they're going to do. They're just going to freeze. They might still move, but they're not going to do anything. They're just going to be vegetables pretty much. So if I spawn in this zombie now, I can go close to it, I can go next to it, I can see what it can do, get rid of its head cover if I want to, if I press and see, you know what I mean, I can do whatever I want to do, I'll get rid of that head cover actually, and just, um, yeah, ignore that seat weapons thing, that's another plugin, um, yeah, and I can pretty much have that zombie there, if I now enable it, he's going to come for me, and I can just kill him, let me just get the uh, magnum, Oh, that head crab just um, decided to spawn in. Okay, now if you kill a zombie, most likely you won't, and you press Z to get rid of its body, you won't be able to press Z on this head crab. However, the head crab will be still here. So it's one way to use your remover gun, and if that doesn't work on the head crab, you can easily just click on utilities, user, clean up everything and if that still doesn't work on this pesky head crab you can click on admin clean up everything or I think it's um, head crabs head crab canisters or just head crabs I don't know where they are but somewhere in it, it should say head crabs and then you just click on clean up everything the head crab disappears you've got a completely clean map that's not gonna kind of lag your game out because the more you spawn into the game the more it'll lag unless you have like the best computer in the world so yeah that's basically weapon NPC I'm now going to show you vehicles. The vehicles when you first get Half-Life are going to be these chairs. 
and a um, the Half-Life vehicle set, with, except for Airbolt and Gun and Airbolt with Jeep, they won't be in here, they'll just be Jeep, Airbolt and Pod, and it will also come with just the chairs, yeah, so yeah, these are the basic vehicles that are going to come with it as well, so you can pretty much just click on it, right click, spawn with tool gun, spawn it in, and once you go up to the vehicle, you're going to wonder, how do I get in it, do I right click, do I click it, press it in. To get out the basically the basic use key for the garage mod you just press E and then you end up now the basic moving and driving um, keys for the games the movement are just the basics of walking so if you want to go forward in a car it's the same as walking forward so it's W A S D you know basically the same thing so you want to sprint it's kind of like a nitro thing with cars you just press sprint and then to stop you pull back or press space I think so that's basically the cars as well, you just want to spawn them all in with tool guns because if I like look at this airbow and I'm looking at them, oh shit, it might spawn into the wall and we don't want that, so just right click, spawn with tool gun, make sure we do that. So that's basically that as well, um, that's pretty much it um, for this kind of like beginner bit, and that's pretty much, you can kind of make a good, you know, um, zombie map with this if you want, or a good enemy map by just spawning stuff in, I can have a bit of fun just exploring this little map of Gary's mod uh, just from this. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper into um, the actual enemy NPC um, feature of Gary's mod. So what you want to do, if you want to have like, um, not, um, you don't want zombies, you kind of want people shooting at you and you want to be like hiding behind this cover and you want people shooting you at you from, I don't know, wherever. There's a way that go around that goes around the, like you don't not everyone's gonna have a, like an SMG or they're not gonna have a shotgun. You can change everything in that you can have people spawning with nothing or you can have them spawning with guns or RPGs. It's completely up to you. You just have to make sure that you have the right add-ons and the right spawns for different types of guns. So uh, Gary's mob when you get it, it already comes built in with the Half-Life 2 weapons that you can get for your NPCs. So if you want the only NPCs that are ever gonna fight back to you are the combine and these are basically the enemies of uh, half-life and these are all going to try and kill you pretty much except for the stalker the the scanner the this scanner as well and this camera they're, they're pretty much just they just do what they, they say everything else is going to try and kill you pretty much to try and just beat you the shit out of you so if i like spawning a combine elite spawn with tool gun i'll disable its thing so it doesn't try and kill me straight away if you look at my combine, he has an AK-47 in his hand. Now, usually, your combine won't spawn with this. If you go into NPCs, Weapon Override, and Default Weapon, your tab may be selected with just Default Weapon, because this is pretty much the default of the game when it's first loaded up. So if I now click Spawn with Tool Gun, he'll have an AR-2 rifle, because this is the def default weapon in the game. But I don't want this guy to have a default weapon. I don't want his default weapon to be this AR2. I don't want him to have that. I want him to have. Let's scroll down. These are the half. These are the only weapons that are going to be available to you when you first get Half-Life. When you first get Gary's mod, because you're not going to install any add-ons before this video. So these are the only ones that are going to be available to you. So um, the only ones that I can use are stun stick, crowbar, pistol, Alex's gun, 357, SMG, AR2, shotgun, Annabelle, crossbow, and the RPG. These are going to be the only ones that are going to be available to you, so I'm going to choose the crossbow. I'll now reset the spawn with tool gun, because if I click him now, oh no, shit that was wrong. If I click him now, I've copied the previous combine elite with this AR2, so I need to recopy it with the tool gun. Now we'll have the crossbow. So every time you want to change weapon, just make sure you re-click spawn with tool gun. And then these guys will all have um, crossbows. If I get myself, I don't know, a pistol, face them off, click NPC to say we're thinking. that's pretty much it that's how you can have little face-offs with MP, uh, NPCs in this game so you can easily 
go into NPCs, go into ART if you want that machine gun. You can easily just go into, I don't know, Metro Police, spawn with tool gun. Click on here, go into like your god mode -ish thing. You can easily just go. Spam these dudes in, make like a little crash core. So you can have like, I don't know. These dudes all around this base are protecting your leader or whatever, which I'll go down to heroes and resistance, uh, humans and resistance, and I'll choose, I don't know, uh, these are all going to be a tactic except for this dude, so um, you'll have to kind of like get this dude, so if I like go out here and pretend to have spawned here, I'll have to kill all them and get them, so you can make your own little missions from this, just from having NPCs and having them have weapons. It's really fun, I remember first getting guys and playing with this for ages, and yeah, it was quite fun. So if you have been playing this match for ages and you've got dead bodies lying around and you want to get rid of it all in one little go, you've got bloodstains, you've got entities flying around and stuff like that, you want it all to go, just basically go to admin, clean up everything, and then do it again in the user, clean up everything, and your map will be fresh, and your game won't lag pretty much, and it'll just save you reloading a full match. So yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. This has been... Um, Gary's Mod Basics Episode 1 for noobs. Um, I hope to be seeing you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.